hello welcome to econometrics melody in this tutorial we'll deal with the command stack expand and expand seal let's begin with this main is data interface active each time press ctrl 8 for activating data editor and ctrl 9 for activating two file first command is stack so it stacks the variable one variable over the other so let us generate some data and save it so we have in this data we have four variables w x y z and uh, let us again use the data that we have saved now let us stack this and we are going to stack it into two variables namely m and m so how does this work so we have four variables and we are going to stack it into two uh, two variables so this will divide the four variables into two groups this is the first group wx and yz consists second group so w is stacked on y x is stacked on z let us run this command and see it for ourselves so this is w 159 is w you can see it here w is stacked on y so 3711 is y and uh, x is stacked on j so 216 is the value of x and it is stacked on j 4812 so this is very simple so after running the command stack you need to clear the memory otherwise you'll encounter this error if you look at this we have mentioned clear over here and we don't encounter any error it is executed properly now let's try some variation in the next step everything is same so we are not specifying this clear over here and so what does it do you notice the change here we didn't encounter any error but here it's a warning not any error so here's a warning you need to specify clear okay this is just a reminder not a mistake now let us run another try another variation or let us again take our stack one variable and we are going to group it and we are trying trying some variation we are repeating the var variable w and another variable y and z so w y z variables are only used again we are going to group it into two variables m and n so how does this work okay two groups w w consists one group y z consists another group w is stacked on y and this w is stacked on z this is very simple And we have used the wide command okay we have used the wide command over here so how many variables are there w y unique variables j m and n so m and n forms the stacking variables so after stacking m and n then after w y j so the w this is the value of w and this is the value of y and this is the value of j let us explain about the position so w is stacked on y so the first initial three observations are for w and the remaining observation is for y w is stacked on z so first three observations are for w and remaining observations are for z so in in place of y and z the initial of three observations we have a space on it and the other three is observations they take their value now let us use the same variable same command and run this so what is the difference now we are going to name it by the name of the existing variable okay and let us see what are the changes in y so we have w y z and w and y so only the variable of z the first initial three later sorry initial three observations are missing and the remaining three observations will be displayed by the respective value if you look at it we have w is a stacking variable this w this is the result of stacking w on y we have the variable y that results after stacking j after stacking w on j so this much is w and this 3711 is y 3711 and 4812 each z so the only variable that is left is z w is stacked on z 
so w will have the preference on three observations and the remaining part will be j and this is clear on this after all yes only distinction is that what happens if after stacking the variables they have same name or they have different name this is also very useful and let us see try another variation and we are again repeating j over here now w is stacked on j and y is stacked on j so the last three observations are for j you see for a 12 for a 12 and if you mention wide in this after writing the same variables name suppose it had you written wide over here what would have been the difference so what are the unique variables w y z m and n there should be five variables and some how do they determine which variable to get missing so if you look at it so this variable so other variables are stacked over this variable so the first initial three observations are missing for this variable this is j okay this is very simple and what have what would have happened had you specified the same name let us write w over here and let us write y over here then what are the unique variables w y and z only three variables so you will get only three variables you see w y and z and we have this variable is stack underscore stack so this will give you the group after stacking so this is the first and this is the second okay you can say this variable is stacked over this so another variation actually again wyzz is stacked we have run this command these four variables are going to be stacked but we don't instead of into we specify groups so two groups the same process these variables are divided into two groups so this wy will consist of one group zz consists of second group and in a normal way right now what what if you specify four groups so four variables so 4 divided by 4 here 4 variables divided by 2 4 divided by 2 is 2 so we've got two group now here 4 variables and if you divide it into 4 groups then you will get 4 divided by 4 is 1 so in one variable all the 4 groups are stacked and the result we get this is the this result so this is the first variable this is the second variable and third and four and so on now let us see some of its examples so let us generate new variables they are very simple and let us see how does the scatter plot work so if we write scatter y x1 and x2 three variables so the last variables this is plotted in x-axis and the remaining variables these are the initial variables they are plotted in y-axis so this is equivalent to y on x2 and x1 and x2 so let us plot this and this is clear by this expression as well if you look at this and if you compare this you see x2 is our last variable sorry x2 is our last variable so x2 is x-axis and we have this region y and x1 these are the value these are the these represent the y and x1 represent the y-axis the last variable y so this represents our x-axis and the initial two variables this represent the x-axis it is very simple and you can use this by using and as well now let us write use a situation wherein we want to draw a graph of y on x1 and y on x2 so x1 and x2 should this combined value this should represent our x-axis and y is a y-axis so how do we do this we make use of a stack so again into two groups so this will form one group this is for from another group so y is stacked on y and named yy and x1 and x2 are stacked together this is very simple we get the value from this stack variable so this is an indicator variable a stack is an indicated variable and y, y, x1 and x2 so from here to one here this is one set of y and again from here to here this is another set of y so this is x2 and from here to here it is x1 now let us generate y1 based on the value of yy you see this is our y1 
and again let us generate another value y2 if the value of e stack is 2 this is again another another y 27 observations they are missing and the last set of 27 observations they are filled with the value of y how does this work now x1 and x2 the stacked value of x1 and x2 represented by variable x12 this represents our x-axis and y1 and y2 they represent our y-axis so this is what we want so this is the result you see this is x12 x-axis is x12 which contains the value of stacked value of x1 and x2 and we have y1 and y2 y1 contains the first initial object 27 observations are y1 here the last 27 observations are y1 actually. so this is y let's compare these two graphs a scatter so if you remember it if you remember the kind of graph and y and y2 okay the previous example we had y common y on x1 y on x2 now here we have y1 on x1 y2 on x2 and we're going to plot it into same graph using this scatter command so let us create variables so we are going to create two variables a and b so these are two unique variables and we are going to determine its cumulative distribution by using this command and cumulative of a and this is cumulative distribution of b so this range is from 0 to 1 and we are going to plot this let's see how does it work so let us plot this is a the last one we have already said how does this kind of plot work the last variable is x-axis and the remaining initial variables are y-axis and this c is for to connect by line m symbol okay m symbol and this is capital zero this means circle so this cumulative distribution this is this is captured between 0 to 1 and this is the range of a okay 0 to 30,000 3000 okay to distribution of b and b again the cumulative distribution is it is captured between 0 to 1 and the range of b here is 0 to 500 now we want to plot these two graphs into same graph so we, we make use of a stack command so up to now we have the variable a b cumulative a b and cumulative b now let us stack it in this way we have specified two variables after stacking c and a b so this is the first group this is the second group and c a will be stacked on c b and we will name it a c for cumulative distribution and a will be stacked on b and therefore we have named it as a b so let us stack this up so this is the result now let us generate another variable c a one if stack is equals to one okay so this is actually a community of a and this is actually the community of distribution of b if you run this command we will get the desired result so what are we doing going to do this a b the stack value of a and b this is going to serve as an x-axis and this value is for cumulative of a and this value is for cumulative of b you see if you remember the distribution so up to here is 500 for b and up to here is 3000 for a and their cumulative distribution is captured within 0 to 1 so alternatively we could have drawn the same graph using this command wide option option wide up to here everything is same control d now if we had written wide if you compare it with this option over here so the only difference is wide so what does this do this will identify the unique variables and specify the main missing values okay six variables will be generated and i'll explain the missing so after a we have cb and b okay well this these variables are stacked over this okay a and b we have ca cb and ab represents the stacking of ab this is the x-axis so we have variable a and b stacked at the top of each other so this is the same graph and if you want to manipulate the market this connect and m symbol style this is a short reference for this you can try this let's go to another command expand let us clear this let us data container for three observations and create two variables so expand three means this will 
expand the observations three times okay we'll have total nine observations and that will be stored in c c is an indicator variable this zero represents originals other replay or other one represents the duplicate so let us sort it out and then we will be clear so for this we have expanded tool so overall we have three observations for each observation this justifies the three each observation is expanded three times in total each observation is expanded three times in total so this is the result now let us try the same process but for cluster data we will be clear let us generate based on these values let us generate the cluster so the first observations and its expansion it represents the first cluster second observation and its expansion in second cluster so this is our first cluster and second and third cluster now let us label this and generate a label okay yellow green and orange these are three clusters now if you use this command expand seal cluster you need to expand this cluster three times okay so there this cluster has three observations and if you expand it three times this cluster is going to have nine observations and so on so the 27 observations in total and its indication is represented in this variable called cluster and it will be clear if you write sort this will be very clear so you see for this yellow this is the original cluster and its duplicate one duplicate two duplicates so in total there are three duplicates for each cluster similarly this is the initial cluster next cluster this is green for green and it's this is its first observation and it's duplicates two times three times so in total so this is the value and so on so this is very simple and intuitive please take your time in understanding this Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much. Econometrics Melody.